Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will retrieve few more information from retrieve job attribute command. So for the demo of the same, here I have created one program. So let's see how we can write the logic here. So first of all, what we are doing here, we are declaring three variable named as ASP group, log level and log severity. Okay, so these three variable are used to store the uh, output which we will retrieve from the retrieve job attribute command. Okay, now there is one question how we will identify like which type of variable is needed and uh, what should be the length of the variable. So for that we can directly go to the command because in command itself you will find all the information of data type and length. So let's see how to use it. So for that you just need to write RTV job A then take F4 so once you take F4 it will take you to this screen and from these list we are just using the three parameters because the above one is we have already covered so today we are covering these three things so first one is ASP group so here also you can find that it needs a 10 character variable but for more information you can just place your cursor here then press F1 so once you press F1 it will show you specify the name of CL variable that receives the auxiliary storage pool ASP group name so here we need to pass that variable name uh, which will hold the ASP group name or auxiliary storage pool group name the variable must be of character variable with a minimum length of 10 characters so we need 10 character length variable here the special value star none is returned if there is no ASP group for the thread if there is no uh, group group is assigned if there is no group is assigned then we can uh, we will retrieve the value as star none okay now the second thing is log level so ju just check how we what all information we will retrieve from here so just press F1 by placing the cursor here so here you can see that specifies the name of variable uh, name of the CL variable that receives the one character value ranging from 0 to 0 through 4 that is the message logging level being used to determine the type of message information logged in the job log the variable must be a character variable with the minimum length of one character so here we need to declare the one character variable okay and it will give the information regarding the message logging level okay another and the last one is log severity so just you can observe here that this is the only variable so far we have seen which is of type decimal so make sure that you are you declare it as a decimal only so for information you can take f1 here so here you can see that specifies the name of CL variable that receives two digit value ranging from 00, 0 through 99 which is the severity level that is used in conjunction with the logging level to determine the error message are logged in, in the job log so for this information we need to pass two digit decimal variable specified with no decimal position like we have to declare it as a decimal position but a decimal variable but we don't we are not supposed to pass any decimal position there we have to set it as a zero that's why it is showing as two and zero fine so from these from this screen we will we got the information like how that variable should be and what should be the length of that variable now we will directly go there above and declare the variable so you can easily go you can give any name to here uh, variable name but the type and length should be the same otherwise it will not work okay so for the simplicity I am just uh, uh, keeping the same name here also ASP group log level and log severity log same okay so one now we are done with the variable declaration we are uh, we have executed the line uh, number 16 to for retrieving the values in this uh, these variables so once this line got executed we got the information in these three variables now it's time to print the values so for printing the auxiliary storage pool or ASP we will use sndpgmmsg command so just simply write sndpgmmsg then inside that you can take a 4 and just pass the value as the variable which you want to print so I'm passing it as a ASP group now the, on line number 24 we are printing the logic logging level or log level so in the same way you can d simply write sndpgmmg then pass the variable name which you want to print so, uh, so here we want to print the log level so I'm passing it as it is 
third one is for user logging severity so for user logging severity we need to pa uh, as we know that this is the only variable so far we have seen which is of type decimal so decimal value we can't pass directly to the SNDP GMMSG command for that we need to convert it to character so for converting it to character you just uh, just write SNDP GMMSG command then take F4 and when you are passing the value just make sure that you are using the percentage care function to convert the log level decimal value into character so once it is collect converted to character we will be easily able to use it with SNDP GMMSG command fine so we have printed all the values now it's time to compile it and see what we are getting so it is compiled successfully now I'm calling it so first information we got here is star none it means there is no ASP group is assigned to with this that the second information is 4 it means log level and 0 is log severity so this, this is how we can utilize this retrieve job attribute command for retrieving the information related to jobs and in this session we have covered three things ASP group log level and log severity so I hope it is clear to all of you and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things. So th thank you for watching TechShare with.